Hi, my name is Winston Gao, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that is soil-based microorganisms. Now, irregardless whether one is a tree, a pig, a human, we all depend on soil-based microorganisms to digest our food. In the treats, you have the root zones, or we call the rhizosphere, where all the bacteria resides, and the tree secretes sugars and starches to feed the microbes, and they digest it and break down the rocks, and thus the tree has food when it resets it back up. And in the case of humans, of course, we use our guts, and animals use your guts. But still, we're still using basically the same types of soil-based microorganisms. Uh, they are usually around a hub called four or five major families of microorganisms. You'll start out with the photosynthetic bacteria, the yeast, the lactobacillus families, and the fermentative fungi. Okay, so all of these things jointly work together. They each handle different aspects of stuff, and so they create good soil. Now, one of the things that is your primary immune system is your gut. And it's within your gut, the soil-based microorganisms, that makes your body be able to resist disease, defend itself against the exterior environment coming into the interior part of your body. And you take a look at hospitals, and less than 20-25% of their emergencies are actually gunshot wounds, car accidents, cuts, broken legs, etc. Remaining is usually around 60-70% of their business is going to be gastrointestinal related. You get a gas because indigestions. People have flatulence or gas. Uh, people have bad breath. Uh, these are gastrointestinal indigestion in a pro improper ratios of the various different microorganisms that should be in your gut because they've gone out of whack, usually caused by drinking too much, uh, taking antibiotics, or simply getting sick and your flora got out of whack, one way or another. If you have your flora not in the proper ratios, then you're going to end up with indigestion. So as you can see, digestion is the key to your own personal health. The key, the health to the soil. And they're basically the same guys. And I have a product called the Inner Garden. And it consists of all of these different kinds of microorganisms. And unlike most of the probiotics that you can buy outside, Inner Garden has multi-families and in each family has multi-species. What you normally buy is just one family, lactobacillus family, with multiple different species and some very expensive brands will have 10, 15, 20 different species still all belonging to the lactobacillus family. But let's face it, you don't eat just meat and cheese. You eat a variety of things. And so you need a variety of families to address the variety of foods that you eat. And that's only just step one, because once you eat the food, then you digest it, it breaks down into some other components, which needs different species to now break those things down to change it into different components, which needs, again, different species of microorganisms to further break that down. So you can see, there are many levels. So just lactobacillus is definitely not adequate for an overall digestive system, right? So try the inner garden. You'll find that there's many different applications for the inner garden. Uh, food poisoning, if you take a get food poisoning, you can take inner garden in very large dosage. It'll actually address the food poisoning. Uh, if, uh, you can, uh, if you have like say a um, something in your eye, slight eye infection, you can use the same inner garden Dilute it down with water about 50% and wash your eye with it and you'll get, the inf get rid of the infection. You can even get an accident cut in your skin, a small a bruise, or a, a braised uh, skin. Uh, again, dilute the inner garden with some water and rinse the, the wound out with it and you won't have infection there. Uh, it's called sterility through exclusion. It excludes the pathogenic uh, uh, bacteria from the surface of the skin. It's another way of healing. You see, mostly when people use hydrogen peroxide to use it as a disinfectant on the skin, it will both kill your cells as well as kill the germs. So then the body has to go through the stages of a scab and pus and various different things, the cleaning up before it can heal. Whereas if you just use the inner garden, it simply excludes 
the bacteria that's harmful or disease forming and allows these good bacteria that belong on your body, belongs on your surface uh, of your body, belongs to the internal of your guts and you don't have to go for those phases of uh, pus, scab, all of those things, you don't have to go for those things, it just starts healing right off the bat. So uh, read the label and you'll find uh, the different kinds of applications you can use the inner garden for. And as far as health is concerned, I can't think of anything else that is more important than to digest your food correctly. So try the inner garden. You'll like it.